we are still discussing on solving equations involving logarithms. And now, let's look at the last example for today's lecture. Alright, so next question that is again on solving equation involving log. So for this one, if we look at the question, we have two different, uh, we have right hand side and left hand side involving log. This one, we only have one side having log and the other side is just a whole number. It's just a number. Um, so for this one, what we need to do is first, we want to change this. So you can try this with me together. So 1, by using these properties just now, remember that 1 is actually log A base A. So log of any number with the same base of the same number. So this one, we want to try to change this uh, in log form as well. So 1, we can change this into log 3 base 3 plus with log x minus 2 base of 3. Okay. Now we have all of our terms um, in the form of x, uh, in the form of log, sorry. So we have all of our term in form of log, then we will try to collect the same log. So this one, this is the addition of log. So we have our rule where um, log A plus log B having it in the same base is actually equals to log C A times B. Remember that we have that properties. You can change you can check on that. So now we have log of x square minus 10 base 3. On this side we will have 3 times x minus 2 by using these properties just now. Okay. So now when we have it log on both sides of equation, then that is actually we can compare directly taking the value inside the log itself. Just like we do it in indices. Okay. So we just take the value x square minus 10 is equals to 3 times x minus 2. Okay, so here we will have x square minus 10 equals to 3x minus 6. Simplify this to get that as a quality equation which equals to 0. So solving this, we're going to get equals to 0. Then, check by using your calculator and factorize, you're going to get x plus 1, x minus 4 equals to 0. So we know that there are two values of x over here. So x will be equals to, so from this one, x is equals to negative 1 or x is equals to 4. So these are the two values of x that we have. So now, for solving log, we need to check this value because we have two values. When we have two values of x, we need to check which one is satisfied by the uh, by our first equation. Okay, which one satisfies the solution that we're looking for? So we need to do the checking. So when x is equal to negative one, okay, let's substitute into the left hand side value this one okay so the left hand side will be log of 3 and then negative 1 squared minus 10 okay that is equals to um, okay left hand side these values is um, log 3 and the value inside here is negative 9. So remember that actually a uh, log of negative number does not exist. So there is no log of negative number. 
so negative number does not exist so we will ignore this solution this value of x okay and we check the second value of x when x is equals to 4 checking uh, substitute the value in our left hand side and right hand side of the equation so we are going to have 4 squared minus 10 substitute in here equals to 1 plus log 3 and then 4 minus 2 log base 3 4 minus 2 so on this side we will get log 6 base 3 and on the other side we are going to have log 3 base 3 plus log 2 base 3 okay so if you have it like this then um, this remains log 6 base 3 on this side by using the same um, properties of log that we have just now this one so this is actually log 6 base 3 and hence this valid when we show that our left hand side is equal to our right hand side therefore the value of x is equals to 4 and that is the value that we take okay so that is the solution for question c now before we end our lecture for today so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today. So I hope that you are able to understand our lecture for today. And I hope that our learning objective is achieved. So please check uh, your understanding. And make sure that you don't hesitate to ask around if you have any problems. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you.